Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. I've got a 15 minute session I'm doing for a client. We're gonna be working with Archangel Raphael, channeling a message, channeling healing. I wanna thank you so much, this is to the client. Thank you for this opportunity. Can't wait to visit with Archangel Raphael for you. Thank you so much for sharing with us here on YouTube. I'm gonna read your goals and then I'm gonna get started. So you say, I'd love to receive a channeled message with healing from Archangel Raphael. Okay. Oh, that's really nice. I'm going to relax, get in the zone here. What would Archangel Raphael like to say to you? What healing is going to really empower you right now? Okay. All right, instantly there's an energy that comes from behind so swiftly, but I feel like I'm eyes just slowly opening up and I'm looking into the distance. It's a bit of a layered image. So when I look into the distance, it's like there's a line, kind of represents the horizon. The line glows with a white light. And the ground is black, the sky is black, but the layered image is like eyes slowly opening up, like the eyes just see a little bit and then they see more and more and more. But the scene also is just like a line that represents the horizon and there's darkness below, darkness above. So this is my first experience, okay? All right, so Archangel Raphael shows me the experience of being tired. And I see uh, kids walking around in a high school and there's this sort of awkward student maybe carrying too many books and then trying to deal with a book bag or people walking past. But there's someone that pushes them from behind and it's just too much. They're holding all these books. They've got a book bag, but there's all these kids and students. There's all this noise and it just feels like you're standing in the center of just everything hitting you, everything that you're carrying is weighing you down. It's just, it's just hard to keep it all together. It's just that, oh, it's a hit in the back. Like, was that really necessary? I know it's not your fault, but I'm trying here. I'm carrying these books. I'm trying to get to my class. There's all these kids in my way. That's my first experience. I'm tired and I don't, I, I have it together and I don't have it together. And that almost knocked me down. Almost knocked me down, spilled my books. It could have been embarrassing. And uh, it's actually kind of emotional because I see now Archangel Raphael in the front is a very kind gesture, um, offering hands to help carry the books. Almost like somewhere inside yourself you wouldn't believe it, that someone would be there to help you. If you're carrying too many things, you're juggling too much in a busy world, perhaps, and people are all looking in their own directions and they're just bumping into you. And it doesn't seem like that necessarily offends you or upsets you. It's just another thing, you know? And so when Archangel Raphael is there to hold your books for you, I start to see that the horizon is getting a little bit brighter. And it's the horizon of your heart, actually. This is about the heart. The heart of who you are. There's a, a paused moment here, a silent moment. I mean, truly, it's, it's almost like we're lingering in this moment between someone here to help you. The horizon's a little bit brighter. And then reflections of the heart energy. I don't know why this message is startling. It's almost like you can't believe it or process it yet. You're hearing it, you appreciate it, but you're not fully caught up with it, almost like it's too much disbelief. So 
So ask Archangel Raphael, what else would you like to say? You, okay. I see you looking down at your feet. And when you look down at your feet, the energy circulates sort of down to the ground and then up through your feet, up through your body, back into your head, down and up. So it sort of circulates like a rubber band, just like goes around and around and around and around. And you are the rubber band <laughs> of circulating energy. So... But when your eyes move up and now your eyes are looking out and around, it's almost like the energy is going out. It doesn't show me that it necessarily circulates back into you because you, you seem to be expressing yourself with your eyes. I mean, you seem to be more present with the outside world because you're lifting your head up. You're lifting your head up with your eyes open. Almost like when they're this little slit that's slowly opening like the horizon with the white line and the darkness below, darkness above. Um, it kind of represents, you know, looking down and the energy circulating around and around and around like this. But you're opening yourself up when you look up and your eyes are open. I tell Archangel Raphael, I understand the message. I feel like we're still just skimming the surface here. Like there's something far deeper to be said. Well, there's this echo that is basically saying that you don't know what to do with your heart. You don't know what to do with your heart. And I ask Archangel Raphael to give me some suggestions here what that means exactly. Seems like your heart, like, there's something odd about how the energy flows in and out of it. Like the door's a bit stuck. Not that it's not open, it's just open a crack. Kind of like the eyes are just open a little bit. You know, the head's looking down, the circulating like that. The heart's like got to just open a crack so it's either jammed or it's just not really wide open. It's a bit stifling when it comes to how the energy flows through the heart in and out. So how are you expressing yourself from the heart? Holding your head up. All right, I'm going to put some more of this energy into your world. The energy of Archangel Raphael holding your books for you. It means something. Something important to your heart that opens the door. Is it possible there's also a reference here of actual high school? that it's not just um, working with these images to build an understanding, but maybe there's some parallels to your high school experience here. You're still in disbelief. You just, it's, it's almost like you're always in disbelief. I ask Archangel Raphael, how do we help you truly believe that there's support, there's love, there's help for you? Hold your head up, open your eyes, you will see it standing right in front of you. Open your heart. Don't just keep it open a crack, open it. Let yourself breathe. Are you waiting for bad news or something? Maybe subconsciously, perhaps you feel like you have to do it all. You have to count on you. 
it's uh, any day now and someone's going to accidentally bump you from behind and you may not catch yourself this time. Okay, you, you, okay. This is the first sort of new shift here. <sighs> You're far more in your body now. You're far more opening your eyes and you're far more looking at what I see. And you're far more saying, okay, you can hold my books for me. And now you turn your head and you look at what's behind you. And what's behind you is like, it's like where vampires live. It's like a Halloween castle in Transylvania or some scary place with big bats and creepy music. <laughs> and I see Archangel Raphael now is standing behind you, holding your books as you've turned now to face forward. And facing forward is facing this big vampire castle. It's weird because it looks like it's in the distance, but actually it's, it's like um, the door is this whole scene. It's just a flat door, but it, it's got dimension to it. So when you take one step, you're absorbed into the door, almost like it's, it's made out of a liquidy material. Hmm, it's not so bad in here. We're already inside the castle. It's just kind of dusty and, and it's not like dust. It's more like gunpowder for some reason. It's like gunpowder is everywhere. It's like little black kernels of dirt everywhere. It's such a strange thing. And it feels kind of nice in here, believe it or not. <laughs> it feels kind of homey for some reason. Even with the dirt or the gunpowder sprinkled around. You don't look right though. You look strange. You don't have any hair. Your kind of dress is actually part of your skin. You have no face. Doesn't matter if you were to look at yourself in the mirrors. It's like you have to use an inner eyesight to navigate and there's no reflection. Somehow you can see where you're going and you're walking upstairs. I'm noticing that this house somehow represents your physical body. So it's something to say that it's homey in here. What's all the gunpowder about? You can find your way around in here. Now, what are you looking for? Where are you going exactly? What room of your body <laughs> are you walking towards? Is this whole house, maybe it's your heart. Because it, when I look at the staircase, it makes me think of arteries, you know? Like we have, this staircase goes over here, like this artery, and this goes over here, like this artery. And then we have these like uh, hallways and... The hallways are like veins or arteries that take us to different parts of this huge house. That's why it's like, um, is it your heart or is it your whole body? Maybe it's your circulatory system. Oh, the reason you don't want to have eyes, some things you just don't want to see. Is it because you don't want to see it or because you just, what are you going to do if you could see it? Maybe you just, maybe if you had eyes to see, you wouldn't be able to count on yourself to change anything. I don't know, am I, am I supposed to judge this as a problem or, because I'm asking Archangel Raphael, what is, if, the, if your heart is at, as like castle in Transylvania with vampires, like what, what does that mean, you know? Okay, Archangel Raphael pulls me out of that space, pulls me back to the, the school. And I started to see Archangel Raphael look differently, almost vampire-like. And I see much time has passed and you've been gone for a long time for some reason. 
and I see that you're just kind of mindlessly wandering around a humongous house without any purpose. But it feels like home, so if you're at home, then your purpose is at home. What's really important is that you find the front door and you leave. And there's an echo that, that reaches you through the portal and is asking you to go outside. Find the front door and go outside. And that's going to change everything. You're going to give it a try. Okay. So you're at the front door. All of a sudden I see you through this sort of portal door. And I see past the, this massive sort of yard and all the scary trees. I look inside the house. There you are. You're standing at the front door on the inside. And you start to grow eyes. You start to grow a face. And you start to shed a skin that looks like a vampire dress. And you're kind of strange looking. <clears throat> you have a human body. You're naked. But... The things are kind of disproportioned and randomly, oddly shaped, okay? And... Okay. You do go outside, and it is a sunny day. There's a really important message here, and I don't know if I'm articulating it well enough. I'm starting to pick up on it. And it, 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 there's, it's kind of layered, all right? Something about the way that you appear when you're sort of mindlessly walking through the, the, the arteries and the veins of this scary house. This actually pretty pretty homey on the inside, but you're not letting go of home. You're not finding the front door and leaving home, which is a comfort zone. You don't want to build the means to find the door, even think to find the door in order to leave home, which is a comfort zone. But then leaving home, whether that means physically, like actually get out of the house and go do things outside the house. Maybe you're a homebody. Or maybe home is where the heart is, right? Which is also true. But there's something about a comfort zone that it's time to find the front door. It's time to go outside. But you're kind of in between shedding some layers here and actually following through with that. And there's going to be a health benefit to it. And it's going to be healing for your circulation and your heart. It's also about building confidence in this message. Like... Have confidence in yourself, like hold your head up and use your eyes to look outward or open them and see the people that are around you. Look at the people that are around you. Look at what's around you. Not in the comforts of the home space, but outside of yourself. All the people walking around, instead of trying to hold the books and the book bag, I accidentally forgot to zip it and I should have put this book in there and I've got all these people and all this noise I'm trying to make it to class. It's just so much, right? But it, it's okay to just look up. Circulate your energy outward and open your heart. It's not jammed. Your heart's actually not jammed. This isn't hard. So... So now that we're kind of caught up with the whole message, I'm looking at Archangel Raphael still holding the books. Looks kind of vampire-like, okay? I ask you to leave that, that place now and come back to the school. You hear me. You're paying more attention now. You do want to take steps that are going to better your life. So that means that it might be slow at first, but you're going to get the hang of it, okay? Because you're already listening and you're taking steps in that direction. So you found your way back to the school. You look like a new person. I don't have the books covering you. It's almost like you, were, you had such a stack of books to try to hide behind it. And kind of acting like your life is difficult. But really you're just trying to hide.
Yeah, Archangel Raphael is definitely here to help you. You should be so bold as to ask Archangel Raphael to introduce you to a real person that would be a helpful person in your life. Maybe a new friend, maybe someone you, you share the similar ideas, um, somebody just to put a smile on your face, you put a smile on their face. You know, it's exchange and it's nice, it's pleasant, you know. And you should open your eyes to the idea and know that you can have that. You can have help. And I still feel like I'm just skimming the surface. Like there's so much more to this message. But the overall is don't hide. Hold your head up, okay? Your eyes are open. Look around at the faces. Archangel Raphael is here to help. Open your heart, leave the home space, okay? Find the front door, go outside. And it's actually kind of good news because I do see you getting more present and being a good listener and taking some positive advice that's going to better your life and yourself. So you're doing that. It's not like you're hearing it, but you're not ready to hear it yet. You're actually hearing it and you are ready to hear it and follow through in ways that are going to improve your life. And it's, it's about improving your circulation and improving your heartbeat. And so it parallels between, you know, building the confidence, etc. with the physical heart and circulation. So <laughs> that's a really fun message, isn't it? Thank you so much for this. I'm really glad I could do this for you today. Thank you again for sharing with us here. And for those watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a session, I'd be honored to share a message, look into anything that interests you. You can book a session at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, thank you all. Have an awesome day.